Okay, this is my tick removal tutorial that I've been meaning to do for a while. Uh, an easy way to get ticks off your dog, or I guess your cat, but I have a dog here for demonstration purposes. Zoom out a little. This is Asia. She's uh, already laying down in front of me. Uh, she's sort of trained to do this. Whenever she comes in from outside, I always tell her roll over. And she lays on her back while I search through her fur for evidence of any small creatures that are clinging there that should not be there. Um, looking for ticks is kind of difficult on Asia because she is a speckled dog. She's white with a lot of black speckles. And the ticks are dark brown to black in color, so uh, sometimes it's hard to see them with that type of coat. But um, I've gotten rather adept at it over the last few years. Um, so. I have already searched her over and I only found one tick and it's on her paw right here. I'm going to try to zoom in so you can see it. I'm holding her paw out and trying to hold the phone with one hand and I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to zoom in but you can see the little legs sticking out. Um, they sort of embed themselves head first um, and it's just kind of hanging on in her fur here. So um, a lot of the tutorials that you see online or the web pages um, talk about getting tweezers, um, removing the tick with tweezers. That's kind of a hassle because then you've got a tick uh, cl clasped in your tweezers and then you've got to figure out what to do with it. I have found this is a, a little bit more um, streamlined method here. and. Uh, easy disposal which is also a good thing when it comes to ticks. So I'm going to try to hold my phone and her and all my implements and do this right. Okay, so far not so much good. Okay, zooming in on the tick and I'm grabbing a flea comb and what is going to happen is I'm going to just go ahead and use the flea comb to comb the tick out of her hair. Basically just detaching it Okay, once you detach it, you can see it's like, lum -de dum what happened? How come I'm not in here anymore getting my meal? So then you take a tape roller, like the kind that you clean lint off your clothing with, and you grab the tick. So as you can see, the tick is now stuck to the tape roller, um, which is good because it's off the dog. So, the next thing to do is to peel the sheet off the tape roller, which I will put the camera down to do, because I definitely need both hands for that. So I'm just peeling off the sheet. Oh my god. Asia's freaking out because uh, there's a small puppy outside the patio door. <laughs> I'm not gonna let her out. So now you see the tick is on the sheet of tape that's been detached from the roller. Now this part's really important. Um, you can't just throw it away like this because I have had ticks detach themselves and uh, try to get back into the action here. So you just fold the sheet over. And then you need to make sure that the tape is smashed down on all sides here so that it can't escape. Fold the other side over. And then you have the tick permanently imprisoned. It can't go anywhere because it's stuck to the tape and the tape is stuck to itself on all sides around it. 
so then you can take this tape and just throw it in the trash. And uh, I notice I've never had to touch the tape with my bare hands. I've never had to worry about throwing it into uh, a jar of alcohol or, you know, flushing it down the toilet or anything like that that other people have proposed. Um, nice, neat, easy solution. And now I'm going to go see what my dog's up to here because she's obviously freaking out. Oh.